welcome to the Photoshop tutorial from Fashion Photography Channel. Today we'll show you how to remove background from the image and end up with something like this. When you start with some simple picture like this, you shoot from the studio or whatever you prefer location. The first thing you need to do is to find background you want to replace. And when you get it, just get this background uh, from your computer and drag and drop to the Photoshop. Sometimes image not exactly the size you have original and you can adjust the size of this background just pulling the corners and uh, fitting the background if it's smaller to the actual image. To save this background just press this sign on the top of this and it's gonna save it. Now you get a background and you have image here we're working with uh, to replace but little problem here so we need to change right now the order of this but this does not work this way because the background image is locked so, but it's easy to fix just drag this lock sign to the garbage can and our lower layer become like visible and active so now you can change the order of the backgrounds so we get actual image of the model on the top and our 3d background we choose to replace on a background layer right now okay uh, now we need to select the model we're gonna place in the background image how we're we gonna do it it's a couple different ways we can make it simple way it just uh, pick magic wand and start picking some uh, background we don't need to around the model holding the shift buttons are gonna add a little bit more every time you click on this and uh, if you have some areas you don't want to be in a selection uh, like for example this Christmas tree in the background you can use lasso and holding the shift key add more selection to your image and like this so right now this tree is not gonna be selected as you see our shape of the mask maybe not perfect here but you can adjust manually some areas it's not don't need to be perfect but better get just a little bit closer to the shape I explain you why it's almost good here nice 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 and edges but we also want to select some areas like this it's a little far from the edge but we're gonna need to work with this area because we still have some background we can see through and some some areas like this the holes we can use the magic wand it's easy and fast for the small areas like this almost the shape let me see if we get a little bit more of these areas yeah one more here and oops control z if you don't want it okay we almost get it so the shape looks good good let me check on the bottom uh oh here we get little problem in the glass because the color here very close to the background what we need to do we need to inverse the mask so say uh, select inverse shift control I and if we can use the lasso and holding the shift key we can fix this area yes perfect and a little bit on the side of the glass this is great and a little bit here too I don't want to spend too much time just showing details how this could be but if you can see some discrepancies you can do Control shift I change the mask direction and you can correct a little bit okay this is perfect so now uh, if you hold Control minus Control plus you can resize the image and if you hold the space 
and you can use a hand you can move the image around the screen so we're going to this area and see what's going on here so it's almost good but not exactly the edges of the hair or maybe feathers here you need to get a little bit more detailed masking so how we're we gonna do it we're gonna use a special tool called refine edge you can see it on top of a navigation this tool work with three top uh, tools like mask lasso or magic wand or quick selection tool quick selection tool also possible to use to select the image but magic wand works perfectly and let's go to next step and use the refine edge watch what's going on when and press this button now we can see our selected image uh, with the edges still have some white border from the background because we shoot in light uh, gray background this tool can show you overlay can show you let's see how this looks like in white if you want to replace something lighter background like white or something this edge is not visible but if you want a darker background we're gonna need work on the edges so it's gonna be more natural look when you replace the background this is like it's our actual background we we pick uh, and this darker background needs some work on the edges so let's start with this so we need to select some radius uh, of our brush if we say like this is press show radius it's showing like how, how many pixels like it's 18 pixels I pick around and it's almost disappearing here if we go into this uh, area you see the edge coming a little bit better so I like it um, so let's go to uh, tiny adjustment smooth it's like if you get a hard edges like here for example and we can make it a little smoother it's gonna fix it make it a little softer edges so we can we can keep it feather a little bit like we can do 0.2 contrast we're not gonna touch and uh, shift edge it's meaning like if we want to do it a little bit negative or positive balance let's do minus two pixels over there inside and decontaminate colors when we get very active colored background let's say we shoot on a green screen and green color get little spill in the body so we want to decontaminate these colors on the on the model we cannot see any any changes here for now because you know our background was natural so we're not gonna check it uh, and now we're gonna output to new layer with a layer mask it's important we're gonna press ok button when we're gonna be done but for now we need to pick the brush size let's say depend of the size of this and we're gonna work with some tiny details just watch what's going on I'm gonna work with some areas around sensitive details you cannot see much in the beginning but you're gonna see results in a few seconds just if you walk around this you can see some details and I want to make it more natural more visible let's check it out okay check it out now it's almost almost disappearing so we can get a little bit more radius on this perfect and we can work on some details here you see it's disappearing something here a little bit more here okay this is great I'm not gonna work with all image so it takes some time but for you it's just principle how it works when you're gonna be done with all this stuff just pray, press ok button and this is what we get we get almost good image but still get some some area we need to work with so for this we can use burn tool it's here and for the burn tool especially when we get on a darker background you need to pick here you're gonna work on the shadows you're gonna work like around maybe 50 percent when you're working with a burn tool it's important to press layer layer mask so this this is the area we're gonna work with check it out what's going on so we're gonna 
you can see uh, we burn a little bit white areas around and it start getting more and more natural yeah like this so it's it's a trick when what we can do for darker backgrounds when replacing for the darker backgrounds we can work with edges to get rid of the whiter areas left from our previous engagements for example here this is going to be really visible so we get some details but we want to burn them to the dark color so get it more natural look before we're going to place the picture to more visible background i'm showing the principles how it's going to be and you have to pick your tiny details when you work with this it takes some time if you want to do a really high end a magazine or something like this it takes sometimes a couple hours to adjust it but you know it's all depend of your skills and uh, size of the image resolution okay this is basically it and we're gonna be ready to uh, move to next step to change our background and move it to next level the last stage so when you get your image in the top of the background probably what you want to do you want to uh, make it more blurry background and sharper image you can adjust final levels and color to make it uh, more match here we can see warm skin tone and the cold bluish greenish background so as a color contrast give us like more definition so better feelings about this and it's more romantic but this is layout for advertising for greeting card or wallpaper or something you can send to other people your friends or colleagues or uh, client even client as a greeting card so we move the model on the right side of the background and keep this area open so to get more design elements so like we can add text we can add logos we can add some special effects to make it more dimensional just watch what other steps we can do to finalize the product, uh, the image. We can, let's say, add some star like this, spark or on a glass, or so give it a little bit feelings of the celebration. This was done with a custom brush. You can download the custom brushes for the Photoshop from internet. This is a star. We can add some snow some little flurry so it's changing the different size of this brush and make a special shape giving like more mystery more romantic mood we can also add some particles of the breaking ice or snow something like give it like more dynamic look and also we can add some text like happy holidays or happy new year you can do it like with uh, regular text too or you can use uh, any preset templates as PNG with a transparent background, you can resize it, place in any uh, size and uh, any part of this. But this composition looks complete and is ready to save. You can see uh, file, save as, and go to uh, save it as JPEG files so when you get other postcards, and uh, you're ready to go. So, this is it. Check more tutorials and educational behind the scenes video at Fashion Photography channel. Stay with us and subscribe if you like our videos.